Good morning! Buenos dias, mis chulas. As you guys can see, I have a very, very big friend welcoming us to the channel today. I put a little like zit snatcher or zapper, I don't know what they're called. So it kind of went down, but it's still super red, so I'm gonna definitely have to use a little bit of concealer today. But anyway, buenos dias, how are you guys? I decided to vlog today because I have a very, very busy day. I have to review two videos that are gonna go up today. I have to go to the office, take some pictures for Allery, clean up, kind of organize the office because the office is a disaster. It's so messy because Dennis is actually moving into that office or into one of the rooms in the office. Um, I don't think I've ever shown you guys like fully show you guys the office. I have something in my eye and it's really bothering me. So when we go there, I will show you guys that. But right now, I'm going to make my favorite avena. I love this oatmeal. But I need to put dishes away because I cannot be in the kitchen if the kitchen is a mess. It's not a mess, but I just want to put the dishes away. So let's do that. All right. Okay, so this is the oatmeal that I like to make. The brand is Bob's Red Mill. I get it from Sprouts. It's gluten-free steel-cut oats. It is honestly the best oatmeal I have ever had. This is not an instant oatmeal, so it's going to take about 30 to 35 minutes to make, but it's so worth it. So the secret to this, you can make it with water or you can make it with milk. I like to make it with milk, but you can also make it with water and then add a splash of milk if you want it a little bit creamier. It's really up to you. But the secret ingredient is cinnamon. If you add cinnamon and a little bit of brown sugar this is going to taste just like arroz con leche because it kind of has that same texture and obviously much much healthier you're not going to put a ton of sugar if you put a ton of sugar then it defeats the whole purpose it's literally just like a sprinkle of sugar but the cinnamon like the fresh cinnamon not cinnamon powder it has to be a cinnamon stick it's going to make it taste like straight arroz con leche. So I'm going to go ahead and make it. And in the back of the bag, it tells you like serving size. So today it's only going to be me eating it. Normally it's Dennis and I. Um, but So it's just a quarter of a cup of oats and three quarters of uh, water. But I will be using milk. So I will show you guys once it's done. Super easy. This is around my sugar. So this is really all you need. And milk or water, whatever your preference is. So I'm just going to put the milk and the oats in my little pot all together and just wait until they're ready. And I'm going to throw the piece of cinnamon in there and the sugar when the milk gets hot so that it melts. I have to clean my stove, so please don't mind that. But I just added the oats and the milk with the cinnamon stick. And as you guys can see, it's super like runny, but you will see in a little bit it's going to be almost like that arroz con leche consistency. You guys will see, and it's going to taste. Once the, the milk warms up a little bit, then I will add the sugar so the sugar melts. And it's just this little pack. You don't want to add too much sugar. So we are officially out of coffee for my Nespresso. So we're going back to our Café de Olla. This is the Nes Nescafé Café de Olla. So it's supposed to taste just like, you know, your... Oh, no, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want milk. I want creamer. It's supposed to taste like your original cafe de olla you know when you make it with the tamales that is the best coffee like when i go to a restaurant and i see that they have cafe de olla i always ask them is cafe de olla de la olla or is it this um and when they tell me that it's de olla i'm just it's honestly the best there's a place here in burbank called cafe de olla let me check because it's bomb they have bomb mexican breakfast uh chilaquiles everything is so good there it's in burbank yeah it's called cafe de olla it's on burbank i mean it's on victory in burbank and they have delicious, probably the best chilaquiles that are not made at home because I do not like when I go to a restaurant and they give me straight chips with like a salsa on top. Oh, oh no, no. Um, but let me show you guys the chilaquiles. They're pretty fire. They have chilaquiles verdes and chilaquiles rojos. But look, can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see, but it's so good. If you guys haven't gone there, go. Anyway, the purpose of that story is that they have really good cafe de olla there. Uh, but this is what I'm making today, so I'm going to have some cafe de olla. I'm, I'm boiling my water, can you hear it? Uh, I almost actually broke it the other day because I accidentally wet the bottom, and obviously it's like electric. I'm surprised I didn't like electrocute myself. But yeah, so that's what I'm having. I'm gonna, while I wait for my arena, I'm going to review two videos that I'm posting today. I'm going to review my Spanish video first because that one's going to go first, and then my English. And then get ready and head to the office. So it's a busy day. Busy day. This smell reminds me of Mexico. 
I miss Mexico so much. I think we're gonna be going soon. Like, not soon soon, but soon soon. <laughs> Probably like in August. Cause I need me some, just something about being in Mexico that it just, it's so different. Just the vibe. You just feel like at home. I don't know, it's so weird. All right, so we got coffee made. It's so hot. I'm actually gonna add a splash of milk because it's so freaking hot. Let's try. Oh my goodness, my come out. Mm. It's a little bit more creamer. The only thing about making coffee like this is that I can never get it right. I feel like because Nespresso is so strong that this tastes like water to me. I literally do not taste the coffee. Okay, that's it. My oatmeal is done and I wanna show you guys, do you guys see how thick it is? It is so good, so good. If you guys make it, tag me so that I can see. You guys are gonna love it, I promise. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna do my skincare. Uh, super, I'm gonna do a really fast skin, oh, I forgot my brow products. I brought everything from my studio so that I could do it in here just, ah, just because the lighting is so much better here. But I'm gonna start off with my toner. This is my Murad Hydration Toner. I love to spray this on my face. I just feel like it just preps my skin for everything else and starts hydrating. I actually need to go get my little fan to speed up this process. I like, I love that fan. I got it on Amazon. Um, let me go get it. So this is the little fan that I like to use. I, it just really speeds up my skincare process. You guys can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the toner already leaves my skin so hydrated. Look at that. I love it. So I always start off with that. I don't know if I told you guys, but I was looking for a black curtain rod for a while and I couldn't find one for the bathroom and I found one on Amazon. So I ordered it and I hope I like it. Okay, next is going to be my serum. This one is from Kate Somerville. Kate Somerville, it is their Delicate Recovery Serum. So if your skin has been a little stressed, like mine, you actually don't need a lot of this. I think I applied a little too much, actually. And while my serum sinks into the skin, I'm gonna apply my under eye cream and this is the first aid beauty brightening cream it has like a pearl peachy pearl tone so i really like this for my under eye i i kind of go between this and my mirad one but um lately i've been using this one and you need a very little amount i love days that i'm so productive so yeah i found the curtain rod and the next thing that i want to do is change the shower head we're, i don't want to do too much in this bathroom because we're going to be remodeling it anyway but until that happens i want it to look a little different so the only thing i'm going to change is the curtain rod the the shower head and like the you know like all the shower things i want to have them in black and that's it i'm not doing the floor or anything like that if you guys ever apply your your skincare and you notice it's starting to clump it could be two things. It could actually it could be three things. It could be you're applying too much. It could be that the products you're applying are not mixing. Um, some could be oil based and water based, and then when you put them together, they don't mix. Or it could be that you're not giving them enough time to dry. So you're just kind of like creating a big mush on your face. I learned that the hard way. So now I make sure that I give my my each product enough time to kind of do its thing before I apply the next product. Okay, so the last, second to last skincare is going to be my moisturizer. Today I'm gonna to be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost with SPF 15. I'm still gonna be using my uh, sunscreen. Just wanted to use this one today. I did a drugstore makeup look, including skincare products, and I used this moisturizer and I really liked it. I actually love the Hydro Boost collection. I used their body cream. I think I used it all already. And I, did I buy a new one? I actually have to go buy a new one because I used up. I raved about it on Instagram because I loved it. I love the smell. It's like a really like subtle, clean smell. This pimple is ginorm. Last is going to be my sunscreen for skincare. This is the Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen 
SPF 30 from First Aid Beauty. I love, love this sunscreen. And I like it because it does not have a white cast. It's like almost like a tinted moisturizer. I'm shooting um, these really cute workout sets we got for Allery. Oh my God, they're so cute. We got two sets and uh, some bottoms. So I don't want full makeup because it's workout sets. I'm gonna go more for a more natural look today and some really cute, a really cute dress and two tops, bodysuits. Just gonna do more of like a fluffy brow. This is what I'm using for foundation, the Reboot from Makeup Forever. I'm a little tan, so this is perfecto. Perfecto. Cover that baby up. I don't know if I got this big old pimple because of my face mask or um, because of my period. I love this foundation from Make It Forever. It's so lightweight. Look, I'm getting like another granito right there. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I am ready to go to the office. I'm going to fix my hair there because I'm going to change it depending on what I'm going to take pictures of. So, vamanos, mis chulas. <laughs> okay, I'm all packed up. I normally bring a bag like this to the office with everything that I'm going to shoot because I most of the time keep one of everything, so these are mine. So this is everything I'm going to shoot, and then I grab accessories, I grab shoes, I grab whatever I feel is going to look good. Can you guys even see? It's so bright, but this is my bag. I'm going to go get my laptop and the rest of my stuff. And look who's coming to the office with me. Are you excited, baby? Yeah. <laughs> he loves car rides. I am back home. It looks so yellow. I don't know why these lights make. Oh, hi, sir. I got a little roll going on. Mm-hmm. Much better. When I whenever I come into the light and it looks super yellow. Dennis is taking a nap. Maybe I'll go for a walk with Benji. I ended up taking all my pictures and I didn't vlog. Honestly, I was starving. Uh, while well, I was taking the pictures, so I was just trying to get it out of the way. So I was able to take all the pictures. I priced everything, sent it over to the girls. I edited the pictures. I reviewed my English video, um, uploaded it. So now I am sitting here with Benjini. You want to go for a walk? Bebe, why is your pata like that? What are you doing with that little patita? You want to go for a walk? Yeah. I'm gonna take him for a walk because Dennis is napping. It's eight o'clock and he's napping, so he's gonna have a hard time going to sleep tonight. Um, but he gets up really early. I think he gets up like around four, like five in the morning. So he gets up early, which kind of now messed up with our schedule because we used to get up together. And now that I that I get up, he's already up, and then he's so tired around this time. So then I'm just here like twiddling my thumbs with this guy. Kidama. Hi, Kinteyama. I love this little guy so much. He makes me so happy. He fulfills me. I remember when we got him, when we adopted him, I felt like he came into my life at such a perfect time. Uh, Maddie had already passed away and I had already gone through my surgery, but then we got some really bad news after my surgery. I mean, it's not like bad news, but it wasn't good. I mean, it was it wasn't good news. It wasn't the worst news, but it wasn't good news. Um, it was definitely not what I thought I was going to hear. So then um, I had been telling Dennis that I really wanted another dog, um, a little one, especially because my Becca had just passed and my sister found him. I get so many questions on his breed. When I adopted him, they told me he was a Lhasa, Lhasa Apso and Shih Tzu mix. I highly doubt that. I want to do a DNA test actually on him. I believe he's a Lhasa and Havanese. I think he's a Lhasa because he's long. He's a very long boy. And I think he's a Havanese because he has a Havanese face. I love his little carita. Look at him. Yeah. You know I'm talking about you. Yeah. I'm talking about you. So when he came into my life, he literally filled such an emptiness. And I love him so much. But we're actually thinking about getting another dog. Uh, so we were actually going to adopt a dog back in February. She was a deep, am I blurry? I don't think so. She was the perfect dog, but she wasn't meant for us because obviously we didn't get her, but her name was Lily. She was so cute. Like I think about her and I'm still sour that they did not adopt her to us. 
um, but apparently she had a ton of applications and then at the end they wanted her to go to a home that was an only dog home and I'm like it just didn't make sense but anyway I always I always look at things like they are meant to happen and whenever I'm going to make a decision like that like a big decision because adopting a dog is a huge it's a huge responsibility I always pray about it and I'm like Diosito if this is not meant to be don't let it happen so it didn't happen so I always kind of go with that but I fell in love with her like she was a year old she was still puppy she was little she was so cute that was hella sour i literally cried when i didn't get her because i wanted her so bad so anyway um we're still on the hunt for another dog i just saw one today but she actually got adopted and i want to get a girl because benji's very alpha so I, I feel like a girl would be better he's not gonna feel like he has to you know walk around like he's the boss even though he is that's the story on adopting another pup adopt don't buy there's so many dogs that need homes and love and benji was three when we adopted him and he had a very rough start to life but you know we got lucky enough to adopt him i bought these treats for benji they're sweet potato fries it's just sweet potato baked and <laughs> look at his lip Oh my god, can you guys see his lip? It's like stuck. Oh. Anyway, he loves them. And I got them at Home Goods, which is, I know, so random, but sometimes they have really good treats. And I checked the ingredients. It's only sweet potato. And he loves them. You want a treat? Yeah. Here you go. Good boy. I'm actually going to get rid of this bed. This was Mushkini's bed, but it's such a big bed. So I'm going to actually give it to my cousin because she has a big dog and I'm sure she, they'll use it because he has three beds. He does not need three beds and she has a bigger dog. But he loves those little treats. I'll show you guys the bag. Are you the cutest? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you, oh, you think, you think there's more? No, I'm just showing them the bag. There's no more. Okay, this is the bag. Sweet potato fries. Dog treats, 100% natural. So it was $10 for the bag and... What I do is I check the expiration date, which they expire in 2021, so they're not expired, and I check ingredients to make sure that they are not trash, because sometimes they'll make it seem like it's something healthy, and it's not. But look, ingredient, sweet potato. So that's all there's in this. I'm sure they just bake it and like dehydrate it. And you got yourself some little sweet potato fries for the bebes. Sweet potato fries. Okay, I'll give you one more just because you're staring at this bag and because you're cute. I'll give you a small little piece. Oh, thank you, Mom. Thank you. I love it so much.